In this video, we're going to be using Zingari Man, the Explorer, and the Above the Tie X1 Slant Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and I'm excited about the shave today because we're using Zingari Man, the Explorer, which I got a sample of this last year, but I never went back and picked up this up. And man, it's a beautiful scent, and I got it just in time because... Nate and Mel from BBS Live said uh, Heather is discontinuing this scent, at least for now, and that's that's a shame because this is really a beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. I don't think I loved it quite as much off the sample, but man, I picked this up from uh, Murphy and McNeil, and it is just fantastic. Uh, the cost for this, by the way, $21 for five ounces, and that is $4.20 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a fair price. The notes will show you right there, and I like what Zingari does. They write these sort of basic notes right here, citrus, woods, vetiver, really, really nice uh, scent, scent strength right at about medium. And uh, this is a tallow-based soap, sago base. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. This is a really nice smelling soap. I, I wish it were, <laughs> weren't going away because I love the scent. The scent strength, again, right just at medium, just the lower end of medium. Beautiful soap though, I think, or at least in terms of scent. The razor for today, is the above the tie, and as you can see there, it's slanted. This is the X1 single edge slant razor, and it uses an Artist Club style blade. And I pulled one out today to show you what it looks like relative to a DE blade. There is your Artist Club style blade, and there is your double edge razor blade. So as you can see, it's wider. It's also more rigid and thick. Now the blade I'm using is the Feather uh, Professional blade which comes in a box like this, Feather Professional. And it actually comes in a dispenser like this right here. You sort of push the blades out with that uh, lever. And you can generally get more shaves out of these blades than you would a regular um, DE um, blade. Again, single edge slant razor. And that slant design is there to sort of emulate a, a guillotine sort of cutting action, which is said to cut a little more Smoothly, this is all stainless steel made in the USA. And I remind you, as I've been reminding you uh, recently, if you're going to get something from above the tie, use discount code IMCDB for 10% off. And of course, I'll link the products below. That does help the channel if you use that discount code and you save some money. So anyway, we look forward to using this today. Made in the United States, 303 stainless steel. Runs about $169 for the matte finish, which I have here, Atlas handle. I used this once already. I absolutely loved it, so we look forward to another great shave with it today. We have a little under 24 hours of growth today, but you can see the, the salt there, I think. This is just plain water. I get asked a lot where I um, get this uh, mister, and I'll have the links below. Always look at the information below. I'll have links to products, links to the people I mentioned, so on and so forth. The bowl is the Captain's Choice Bowl, AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series Brush. And we have a very, very nice lather. I did have to use more product. I'm finding that with Zingari Man, I do have to use a little more soap because it's not a high volume producer. But what you do produce will be of excellent quality. And I gotta say, it has the whitest lather, the most pure looking white lather that I've ever seen on a soap. But I did have to go back after my initial, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll scrape out soap and by the way, the consistency on this soap is soft out of the tub. I know people want to hear that, and I forget to mention it a lot. But I will usually get out about a half teaspoon of soap. I'm just, you know, estimating and press it into the bottom of my Captain's Choice bowl. That's usually enough. With this one, when I lathered, the, the volume was rather low, so I had to go back and uh, put a little more in there. And once I did, you know, it's, it's, it's a fantastic quality lather as I hope is coming across on the camera. Um, really, really nice, well hydrated, beautiful quality stuff. But I do have to use more of it. And to me, that's sort of a characteristic of sort of some of these um, newer soaps that are designed for skincare and contain lots of skin food. They don't produce quite as much volume as perhaps some of the other soaps, but that's really not a problem. Uh, I just have to be mindful to use a little more soap than I do with my other soaps. It's not really a problem at all. Just be mindful and don't go light on the load um, with uh, Zingari or maybe some of the other soaps that you know have a lot of lots of butters and skin foods and so on in them. 
it is a high quality set. There's no question about that. So let's cut that back. And again, the color on this is just looking at it in the bowl. It's the most pure white that you have ever seen. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of cool in that respect. And the scent, I think this is excellent. This is a really great scent. I don't know why I didn't buy it last year when it came out, to be honest. I love the sample, but you know, who knows? <laughs> I guess you just can't buy everything all at once. All right. Above the tie, X1 Slam. And I remind you, man, that feels great. Uh, I'm going to have Mariah and Matt from Above the Tie on Real Talk Friday. This coming Friday, May 7th. We'll put the card up there for you. So if you have any questions you would like David and I to ask, please uh, make a comment below with your question and we'll add it to the list. Smooth shaver here. Really, really nice. And I have quite a few uses on this blade. I think this is my eighth use on this blade. So it's it's probably nearing the end of the line, but so far it's still feeling good. So we'll continue to use it. The soap quality, even though you can see there's not much um, soap there, very good residual slickness. So there's no question about the um, quality of the Zingari Men soaps. It's definitely good quality. So, but again, the only thing, if I had to pick one thing that's a little different than what I tend to use a lot on the channel, um, I would say the volume is just a little less. So I, I have to use a little more soap. And I'm mentioning that because I don't want anybody to, to get one of these and not load enough and have a bad experience. Um, I'm not saying you have to use a lot more, but a little bit more probably do you well. Because I have had experiences with soaps before where they were required more um, soap and as a result I didn't get a, a good lather so I don't want you to have that um, experience but you will be rewarded assuming that you get a good load with a very good quality lather that is very slick and these Zingari Man soaps are designed to be easy on your skin and uh, so that that's always a plus especially if you have sensitive skin skin care is sort of the uh, the thing that Zingari Men hangs their hat on. And I think it certainly is a, a good quality soap. There's no question about that. So the first pass with the Above Tie X1 was very, very nice. I enjoyed the first run with this, and I expect to enjoy this run as well. It feels really good in the hand. It's hefty because it's got a big head on it. But uh, I think it's a very good uh, shaver based on my first use. But again, it takes time to take to a brand new razor so please keep that in motion uh keep that not in motion in mind i'm about to drop some soap there so let's just pat it on the face there and i know uh kurt was mentioning yesterday that he said you paint a lot you don't scrub very much no uh, uh, well actually yes kurt that is correct i don't scrub a lot because i've learned over the years that my face does better if i make the lather in a bowl and paint it on my face gently doesn't really like the, I used to scrub, but I just learned the amount of face fatigue I feel after the shave is far less when I just paint it. And, and honestly, it just feels good to paint, lightly paint on my face. It just feels good to me not to scrub it. I always take a shower before I shave, so I scrub in the shower. That's where I do the scrubbing. And then I just make this lather and paint it gently on my face and that works well for me now there are some people who who want to scrub and lift the whiskers up and so on and so forth but i'm a seven day a week shaver so the whiskers don't really need lift lifting up because they're just you know they're short still and so they don't really need any lifting like some people might need maybe if you're waiting two or three days before shaving and they've gotten long enough to lay down maybe you might want to scrub to sort of try to lift them up but for me, that's just not necessary. So um, I just paint and I like the way it feels that that gentle painting is sort of uh, it's quite relaxing for me. And um, there's no right or wrong way to do it as long as your result is good. And that comes to um, lathering and anything else. So I know we were having a conversation with uh, Marion yesterday and someone was uh in a friendly way, cracking on Marion about lathering. 
And when someone cracks on someone about lathering, what I always say is, what was the result of the shave? Was it an excellent shave? Did you enjoy yourself? If it was an excellent shave and you enjoyed yourself, then your lather was fine. It's it's not all about making a show lather and and you know beating your chest about your lathering prowess. It's about having fun and enjoying your shave. And if you had a really nice shave and it was very enjoyable, then you're making lather not only the right way, but you're making a good lather if it's working well for you. Now, on the other hand, if you're having lots of nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles and troubles, then you might need to change something. But don't be put off nor intimidated by folks who, especially when you're on YouTube and folks will go, that's a terrible lather. If the shave was exceptional and you enjoyed it and you enjoyed making the lather, it's a good lather. But if you didn't hit all those marks, then maybe it isn't. Maybe you need to make a change. That is totally up to you. Um, there's Again, there's really not a right or wrong way to do it. So long as you are making a lather that lends itself to an excellent, enjoyable shave, it won, and one that keeps you wanting to come back in the restroom and make another lather the following day, you know. If you are raring to go like me, like I can't wait for this every single day. I get up very early. I do some work I have to do. I watch some shave videos and I can't wait for my wife to get up so I can come in here and do my shave. <laughs> I am raring to go. And uh, if that's the way you're feeling, then trust me, you're doing things right. If your enthusiasm is high, if the shave is enjoyable, you're doing things right. So just keep on doing it how you do it. And don't worry what anybody else has to say about it. Now, among your friends, you know, we always crack crack on each other and, and have fun with one another and so on. But if you're new, I realize people who are new often struggle and they think uh, this is rocket science and they have to have a lot that looks a certain way. And if I don't do it like so-and-so, it's wrong. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy yourself. And when you get to the point where you're like, man, I just wish I could shave again. Four hours later after you've shaved, if, you, if you're feeling like, man, I wish I could go in there and do it all over again, you are doing things right. <laughs> if you're keeping that, if the shave is so good that you can't wait to do another, you're doing it right. And don't worry about what other people have to say about it. And I always, uh, periodically, I like to reiterate that because we're getting a lot of new people. And thank you, new folks. I appreciate you being here and anything that I know, I will try to share with you because the knowledge uh, acquired with respect to traditional shaving is to be shared. It's not to be kept and hoarded and like a secret. It's to be shared and we're here to help each other as best we can and uh, spread the love and really have people come to the understanding that, hey, you can enjoy shaving. It can it can go from a very monotonous thing that you hate doing to something that like me, you're like me, like I, I gotta get in there and get the shave on. You know, I don't miss very many. I don't miss very many. It's, unless I'm traveling or something, I don't miss, I don't miss a shave. Seven days a week and then I do four head shaves a week as well. And so I'm always looking forward to every single one. It never feels like a chore. It's always fun, and uh, you know, when you're doing it that way, and, and it's the right way <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's finish up strong here. I have enjoyed both the soap and the razor today. The above the tie X1 slant, as far as I know, is the first ever artist club Slant, Artist Club being the type of blade it uses, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. The first ever razor of its type. And so my hat's off to Above the Top for bringing out something entirely new and unexpected. I like that. And I'm digging the razor so far. And Above the Top is one of those brands that's, you know, some people have forgotten about, but uh, I, I recommend that you uh, not sleep on them. They earned their way into this hobby, you know. 
Uh, and they earned it from producing very good products. Um, and they still make a great razor. The razors that they made eight years ago, maybe even longer, nine, ten, are still great today. And I'll probably bring out the, uh, the Windsor and use it because I definitely want to have a few uses of above the tie before the uh, spot on Friday night on Real Talk. Uh, and it's, it really is nice to revisit this uh, sort of OG brand. I used to talk to Stan from above the tie from time to time on the phone. Brilliant guy, great guy. Does things the right way. And uh, I was glad to, uh, to talk to Mariah, his daughter, and, and get her to come on Real Talk so we can find out what's going on with Above the Tie and maybe what their future plans are and, you know, where they want to take Above the Tie into the future. And again, if you have questions, please ask them below. This is a good shaver. Again, it's got some good weight to it because it's all stainless. And uh, it is a slant, so it's definitely something new that we haven't seen before. Artist Club slant. Uh, it's smooth. Aggression, by the way, is uh, it's about medium. So you get some blade feel, but not too much. And it's just gliding like crazy on that um, Zingari Man uh, residual slickness there. You can see there's not much visible lather there. So when I say residual slickness, that's the slickness that's left behind after the visible lather is gone and it's just gliding effortlessly. Wow. What a nice shave today. Both products, absolutely exceptional. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. Then we applied the um, PAA alum block. No stinging whatsoever. We followed that with a cold water rinse, then toweled off with our Lancaster towel before applying the Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. This is cucum Cucumber Witch Hazel by Thayer's and it's in a spray bottle. The shave today was exceptional. Zingari Man, the Explorer, sadly, appears to be heading towards being discontinued in terms of ascent. Get it now. I absolutely loved it. Top rate. No problems at all with that. The Above the Tie X1 Slant, the first ever Artist Club style slant razor. I had an excellent job with it. I really enjoyed it. And again, if you're going to buy something from AT, um, Above the Tie, use IMCDB discount code. Save yourself 10%. I never ask you to buy anything, but if you're going to, save yourself some money with that discount code, and it does help the channel, so thank you. We're gonna finish things off today with uh, Old Spice. This is the uh, lime, Old Spice lime, which I've never used before, and I was looking for an excuse to use it, and so we shall use it today, and we're gonna be off to the races and having a great day. Ah, nice, and I hope wherever you are, you have a great day as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time. I've been your host, CDB, wishing you a great day, a great shave, and reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way.